external areas to the nostrils right here. It's pretty obvious. Okay? Can you see? Okay. Get in there. Okay. Next. Hard palate. Hard palate is this ridge portion right here, and you can feel there's no give to it because it's got a bony shell right there. Soft palate. Soft palate is the flexible part. There is no bony support there. That's why it has some give to it. It's continuous with a hard palate. Lingual frenulum. Lingual frenulum is the membrane that anchors the tongue, which is this, to the floor of the mouth. You can mm -hmm. see it right there, mm -hmm. right in there. Okay. Internal nares. Internal nares is the opening from the nasal cavity, which is above the palates, into the throat or pharynx, which is this hole right here. Epiglottis. Epiglottis is the flap of tissue right here that covers the glottis, which is the opening when the animal swallows. Otherwise, this is open and air passes there through the glottis into the larynx, which is the swollen region right here. So you said the flappy part is the glottis and the, the flap is, no, the flap is the epiglottis, the glottis is the hole. Okay. Okay. And then the trachea, is that next? That's this ridge tube right here. And it looks like ribbed, because it's got a piece of cardio just like ours to keep it open. That's the windpipe. Right and left lung. Right and left lung. Here are your lungs on either side of the heart. Okay. Where's the larynx again? The larynx is this big swollen part right okay. here. Okay. Parietal pleura. Parietal pleura. Now these you have to imagine. You can't really see them, but lining the pleural cavity where the lungs would be would be parietal pleura, and covering the surface of lungs within the cavity would be visceral pleura. Diaphragm. Diaphragm is this muscle right here. Runs across the body and transverse plane, it separates the thoracic cavity from the abdominal pelvic cavity. And that's also a respiratory muscle, very important. Esophagus. The esophagus, you can see up here in the throat, and it's a collapsed muscular tube right here behind the trachea. And also down here, we can see it. If you go down here, you'll see there are three tubes, two of which you've seen before. Okay? This one right here is the abdominal aorta excuse me, thoracic aorta, it's in the thoracic cavity. This one, right here, is your inferior vena cava, which carries blood from the posterior part of the body up to the right atrium. And then the one in between, which is less obvious, this one right here, okay, is the esophagus. This tube right here, okay? It's right in here. Right. And it's right next to the inferior vena cava? Yeah, it's next to the inferior vena cava. It's between the inferior vena cava and the thoracic aorta, okay. Okay, which are fairly obvious. And this is not as obvious because it's collapsed. Right. Okay, what's next? Stomach. The stomach is this big sac right here in the abdominal pelvic cavity. That's pretty obvious. Small intestine. Small intestine. There are three parts you should be able to distinguish. The first part coming off the stomach is the duodenum. It's right there. Okay. Did you say duodenum? Yeah. Okay. Uh, jejunum. Jejunum is this middle portion right here, the small intestine. Okay? So up here would be the jejunum. And then when you get down here, actually where it joins the large intestine, the first part of which is the cecum, then it's known as the ileum. Okay? okay so here's the cecum, this big sac-like structure right here. See this? Looks like a second stomach almost. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then coming into that, this thing right here, okay, is the ileum of the small intestine coming right in there. And there's a little sphincter right there, and that'd be the ileocecal sphincter. Wait, show that again? Right in there. The ileum comes in and goes right into the cecum. Okay, okay so you said this big sac. Okay. The big sac is the cecum, which is the proximal part or beginning of the large intestine. Okay. And then you can see it's kind of a spiral configuration. Right. That's the spiral colon. Okay. And then the other part is a single tube which goes down to the rectum. That's called your descending colon. Okay. Uh, large intestine. Well, that is a large intestine. Okay. Spiral colon. Wait, wait, what was the large intestine? Was Cecum, spiral colon, and descending colon. Those are the three parts you need to know on the large intestine. Liver? Okay. Liver is this. Okay. And notice it's posterior to the diaphragm. And the gallbladder. Gallbladder is this green sac like structure right here. You see that? That's the gallbladder. And then what is this thing again? Umbilical vein. Umbilical vein. And that's going to shrivel up and becomes a ligamentum teres just to support the liver. The pancreas is the glandular material under the stomach, or next to the stomach. It's this stuff right in here. And it lies between 
the duodenum of the small intestine on one side and the spleen on the other side. This is this thing right here. So where's the pancreas again? I, I can't this even gland, see it's it. It's this glandular material right in here. This stuff right here. Right there. And this one's kind of torn up. But you can see it. So it's basically underneath the stomach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm still getting confused with the...